10 years old. What? And he's torn the roof off of many houses, so I hope you can see him tonight. Please show your love for my man, Julio Rangel.
Maybe with cherry blossom branches like infantile hands, pink, white, and innocence blooming off its fingers, I imagine her garden was home to life. With grasshoppers and beetles and praying mantises sheltered in the flowers growing shadows, but when she stands on our stoop, I wonder if she misses this. Or maybe she learned to accept this new soil just enough to let her seeds grow. Red rose bushes meditated along the edge of our stoop, untamed and grew wild, limitlessly towards legitimate schoolboy skies. Ladybugs made dinners and beds on the untouched green leaves where they would rest and sing pregnant hymns, giving birth to the natural and ordinary air that I took in for pleasure. This is a peace for every day, and my peace that I saw blossom above soil. This was home in a flower, like Saturday mornings. At my home, my mother let me water the rose bush and lawn full of grass and green weeds. It was best for most hot summer days when I could run through the lawn barefoot so my toes could feel cool and exposed and safe. Over her burning soil, deep in twisted roots, I didn't see how far they actually went or they even existed in dark places, taking unimaginable paths where the sun couldn't kiss and a thousand shadows never moved. Tended the top and accepted its roots. A westward wind from Manhattan projects into a rose bush with no roses. I know what happened in this land. Follow trails of drag baby toes to California concentration camps. Don't trust those Japanese Americans, even with flagpole staff of saluting palms. America made prison beds for our kind. Yeah. Fall asleep in pleasant dreams that tell me it's all over. This bed is home like the clouds in our skies, but on the lighted sides in this land. Good soil is hard to find, so we lay our shadows down with hesitation, hoping this part of ourselves can trust the travels of our footsteps. I wonder if my mother sucked comfortably on her first night. Because in her garden, I found aching shadows. Redemption glimmering as far as the sky with two mushrooms tangled in her roots. From here, they look like foreign lotus flowers, but still carrying the internal stench of the fungus. One, shaped like a fat man. Two, like a little boy. Both deadly clouds consuming our sun with tongue sharpened by intimidation. And <laughs> folks, casting shadows over shadows, raining fire over screams. And if you listen just right to those hot August whispers down there, We'll feel flames dance around your skin like decapitated insect wings in summertime pollen in 1945. Oh. Oh. Two bombs dropped in four days and a civilization built with Babylon bricks fell with the familiar crumble. Tombstones for every burnt body haunts the surviving walls with lightless shadows and flickering mockery. Oh. Have you ever seen cherry blossom on fire? Mm. It's an unforgivable apocalypse. What am I doing here? I don't know if the healing will ever bloom around the outskirts of this soil. Running home to broken heartbeats buried beneath. Running home to birdie, broken heartbeats buried, buried beneath make believe black backyard tea gardens. Today, you pluck lemons from baby tree branches, and I wonder if you can taste all that sour as much as I do. You let me tend this garden. Blood roses standing like barbed wire gates, I called it home. Woke in its arms and let the sun hold me if I were its own, so warm and kept secrets locked in its core, but my scars can't hide from me. I sit and watch you behind closed sliding doors protecting these blood roses. Don't you feel our history dancing circles around our necks? I see you gliding over thick twigs and soil, walking like a geisha in the winter, like there's no fire in these snowflakes, and like Angel Island wasn't calling your name, Mom. We don't have to do this. We can still go back to your first home and plant cherry blossoms in sacred soils and cities and beautiful beings, uncover music from hidden bones and the stories from and the stories from frozen shadows still waiting behind us. We can go back and plant lemon trees and watch them grow strong and sweet. We can go back and die where we were meant to. Rebuild those ghost towns of seven heads on patriotic flagpoles. You won't let summertime Saturdays burn our feet. But I'm still shouting behind closed sliding doors while she's picking lemons. She comes in the house, puts, my, puts the fruit in my hand, and smiles. We got a ripe one. Woo!